Now to a story you saw first on KXLY4 News. A secret picture in a public restroom turned out to be his undoing. A man who snapped that photo of a teenage girl last fall, now on the hook for more serious sex crimes dating back nearly a decade. It's the stuff primetime TV shows are made of. Trace evidence left at the scene. A single microscopic clue breaks a case wide open. Only this CSA-style bus is very real and will likely put an alleged sexual predator behind bars for a long time. KXY4, Jeff Humphrey working for you tonight. He is in the studio and has more on Gary Lee Davis now charged with sex crimes that Jeff date back to 2008. Nadine Davis's alleged victims were chosen randomly in public places as well as the privacy of their own home. They did nothing to invite the attacks that started more than 12 years ago. Last fall, we told you about Gary Davis after Spokane County Sheriff's deputies caught him inside the women's restroom at Green Acres Park. A 17-year-old girl was using one of the stalls when she saw a flash and heard the click of a cell phone. She told her parents, who called 911. With the information she was able to provide and, and the quick thinking of her parents, uh, we were able to contact the individual still right at the scene and were able to take him into custody. That led Davis to plead guilty to voyeur and because of that conviction, Davis was ordered to give up a sample of his DNA, which was sent to the State Patrol Crime Lab. All of a sudden, Davis's DNA started matching blood left behind at previous and unsolved sexual assaults. And because of that DNA being entered at that point, it was matched up against old DNA uh, profiles, and it, it was found to match on two cases from uh, 2008 and 2009. Davis is now suspected of breaking into a Spokane Valley woman's home and fondling her as she slept in her bed. He's also accused of tackling a woman in a vacant lot at Pines and Sprague in 2009 and sexually assaulting her as well. In the, in the cases, he had left uh, small amounts of blood and those were collected by the deputies and the detectives at that time and analyzed and that information, that DNA information, sat inside the CODIS database until this recent entry from his conviction. And so today, thanks to good detective work years ago, Davis was in court to face new charges including rape, unlawful imprisonment, and indecent liberties. Detectives say Davis started sexually assaulting members of his own family when he was just 17 and apparently never stopped with his sex-motivated crimes. Today, Judge Nett please ordered him held in lieu of a half-million-dollar bond, and all because of those victims, Nadine, back in 2008 and 2009, summoned the courage to report what happened to them. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4. A good thing they did. Thanks a lot, Jeff.